this week's must read. So Jason, we'll start with you. What's your must read? Uh, Killing in self-defense, you better be white by Danielle Belton at the root. Look, I, I'm a numbers guy, and this article puts in stark reality the empirical facts that stand your ground laws have the unintended consequence of basically making it easier to kill black people if you're white than a black person who kills somebody else. 354% times more likely if you're a white person who kills a black person to be found innocent in stand your ground states. This is a problem regardless of the initial intention of these laws. It needs to be changed, and this is a great article to point it out. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, Patricia, what's yours? Mine is a profile in today's Washington Post of Kevin Orr. He is a turnaround specialist, corporate lawyer, and is now the new emergency manager for the city of Detroit. He has incredible background, great credentials. It's the reading this profile was the first time I thought Detroit might be okay. I think I think they've got a good guy in Kevin Orr, and it's a great read. Well, that's good, even with the 18 billion that they owe, or some such uh, incredible amount. Yeah. All right, Robert, how about yours? The New York Times has a great obituary on Helen Thomas, who just passed over the weekend. Talk mm -hmm. about a pioneer, talk about a trailblazer, talk about someone who literally paved her own way, very similar to Barack Obama, just in terms of breaking the glass ceiling. It is a must read for anyone yeah. who is interested in journalism and interested in, in fair equality. Totally amazing. And when you look at her life through pictures, through these 10 presidents that she covered, it's pretty extraordinary. So anyway, thank you all so much, Jason Johnson, Patricia Murphy, and Robert Trainum. I appreciate that. That's a wrap of the Sunday edition of Weekends with Alex Witt. Up next, meet the press. I'm Alex Wood. Have a great Sunday.